In this video, we will look at linear inequalities in one unknown. You will find this on page 161 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Linear inequalities in one unknown. In junior secondary grades, we studied simple linear inequalities. We learned the following. These operations do not affect the direction of the inequality sign. So if it's a smaller, it stays a smaller. If you add or subtract a number on both sides, if you multiply both sides by a positive number, and if you simplify a side, these operations operations do change the direction of the inequality. For example, a smaller becomes a bigger. Multiply or divide both sides by a negative number. So then the inequality will swap. swap uh, swapping left and right hand sides. Note, when we swap the left hand side and the right hand side, we must also change the direction of the inequality. So let's look at solving linear inequalities. Linear inequalities are solved in almost the same way as linear equations. So if you solve it, first um, leave the x on this side, take the constant to the other side. In order to cancel here, you subtract 3 on both sides. So this is the inequality. If here, if you in order to cancel, you add 6 on both sides. And now, as soon as you divide by a negative, there, then the inequality will swap. Okay, and you will get the, this. The reversal of the inequality sign divide by a negative. So I want to move this. Let's look at the next one. So in this case, um, if you have this, now uh, the best will be to get just a 5, leave the 3x here, so subtract 5 on both sides, and now you are dividing by a positive, so it did not swap. But uh, so I'm writing it like this still, but if I want to swap the sides, I must swap the inequality. Because this is, you will read this as x is bigger and equal than negative 1. So if I swap it, it must still be x is bigger and equal to negative 1. Okay. Okay. I want you to stop the video. And I want you to do try now 40, number A, to get the color, number A, as well as number, um, I just want to see number E, okay, and F. Again, you can continue um, the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Try now 41. Okay, number A. So let me take Y. So if it's X plus 2 smaller than 8. Now to cancel, I, we don't have to show, we can just do it like this. In order to cancel, I subtract 2 on both sides. So then x will be smaller than 6, and that is my final answer. If I look at number e, 7 minus 3x is bigger than 13. Okay, again, leave the x on this side. So in order to cancel, I subtract 7. Okay, and now in this case, it's going to become 6. But now, as soon as I'm going to divide by negative 3, I will swap the inequality sign. So, actually, I must swap it already here, so let's rather do it like this. As soon as you divide, you have to swap. So then x will be smaller than negative. Mm, sorry, x will be smaller than negative 2. And that will be my final answer. Okay, and then number F, let's just make space. Number F, so if it's 6x plus 5, bigger than equal, 8x minus 7. Okay, so all the light terms must be on the same side. So this will be 6x minus 8x sine 
negative 7, negative 5. So this is negative 2x, got the smaller, and negative 12. Now as soon as I divide, I should have otherwise swap it already there, so I prefer to swap it as soon as I divide. So x will be smaller and equal than positive 6. And that will again be your final answer. Just want to quickly check something here. Okay. Okay, let's move on. Let's look at the example again. Solve the inequalities and represent the solutions on a number line. Okay, now it's just a little bit more complicated, but just multiply out your bracket, take the like terms to the same, and as soon as you divide by a negative, you change the sign. And then on the number line, remember if it's equal, it's colored in, okay, it's solid, and then it's towards this side. And if I do this one, the same with fractions, first get rid of your fractions. What I usually do, just make the denominators the same, or multiply by the LCM. And then I will get this. And again, as soon as I take it over, and let's just see, this was just didn't swap. So this was bigger than negative 10, but because there's not an equal sign, that's why it's an open circle, a hollow circle. Okay, and it's towards this side. Then I want you to just do two. Let's just move this up. So in this case, it's going to be 3x minus 8 is bigger than equal to 7x plus 16. Okay, so um, I, oh, sorry, I want you to do A, and I want you to do, so A is nice, and I think you can also do number D and number F. And again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. So do not cross multiply across an inequality sign. That's very important to remember. Okay. So let's just see, this is 3x, this is negative 7x, smaller than equal, this is 16, this is plus 8. So this is negative 4x, okay, 16 plus 8, this is going to be 24. So in this case, I'm just going to, um, now as soon as I divide, I have to change the sign, so rather write it over, okay. So x will be smaller and equal to negative 6. And if I draw it on a number line, and I'm just going to put the grid on, then it's very easy. So in this case, here is my number line. Okay, so this is going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So smaller and, e oh, this was negative 6, okay. So I have to change this. And I have to make it smaller. Okay, so let's just go on with this pattern. So this was 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. So smaller than negative 6, and um, it's equal, so make an equal sign, and smaller, and it will just be the arrow towards this side. Okay. Okay, the next one, number D. Let's just clean again. So if I look at number D, um, this will be 2 
this will be x plus 2 and this is going to be 3 x plus 5 minus 8. So this is going to be 2x plus 4. This is 3x plus 15 minus 8. Okay, like terms to the same side. So this is going to be 2x minus 3x. This is going to be negative 4 plus 15 minus 8. Ooh. Okay, so this will be negative x. And if I'm going to simplify, just quickly that side, I will just get 3. Okay, because that will be 11 and that will be then just that 3. Minus 8 is 3. So as soon as I divide by a negative 1, I swap the sign. So x will be bigger than negative 3. And if I draw it on the number line, Okay, I'm going to have this is 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, 1, 2, 3. So uh, bigger than negative 3, so and it's, it's open. Now I want to take another color. Okay, and then it's just going to be to this side. Okay, so bigger than negative 3. Okay, and then the final one. Okay, I'm going to rewrite this and, and it's almost like you can just, I'm sorry, just rewrite it like this because it's over 1 times 3. And this is going to be x plus 4 and it's going to be over 4. And then I'm just going to multiply 12 over 1, multiply 12 over 1. So then it will cancel going 1, going 4 going 1, going 3. Now I forgot to put that brackets. Always put your brackets. So then it's basically going to give me, okay, let's just continue, then it's going to give me that 4, x plus 1, 3, x plus 4. And now I'm just going to multiply it out first. So I'm going to get 4, x plus 4, 3x plus 12. So this will be 4x minus 3x. This is 12 minus 4. So it's x and it's sign down change and that is going to be 8. And then on your number line, so here is your number line. So, this is going to be, okay, it's, it's going to be, yeah, oh, no, let's just get the pen. Okay, it can be, let's make it 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, bigger than 8, so, and it's, in this case, it's not an equal sign, so it's an open circle bigger than 8. Okay, so that will be your solution. Okay, in the next video, we will look at the following. Simultaneous linear inequalities.